Yo, 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 citizens of the Shaft. I am Naked Zombo, and today we're gonna be taking a look at one of the most hyped prehistoric mammals in the game, the Megatherium. This guy has been sitting in the dev kit waiting to be released, and now he's finally here. It's a favorite species of many prehistoric fans, especially our local paleontologist up from the depths. <laughs> Here's what he has to say. As covered in our early access sneak peek preview way back in March, the Megatherium was a large species of ground sloth from the savannas of the late Pleistocene South America. Megatherium was the size of a modern day African elephant, about 20 feet in length and weighing nearly four tons. And when it stood upright, it was well over 12 feet tall. I totally recommend checking these guys out at the American Museum of Natural History. They were absolutely huge, only dwarfed by the Columbian Mammoth and the Paraceratherium, which holds the record for the largest land mammal of all time. Unfortunately, Megatherium died out 10,000 years ago thanks to the arrival of early humans on the continent. So how does Ark's version compare? The only nitpick I have is that the Megatherium actually walked on the sides of its feet with the toe claws curved inward. Other than that, I love it. It's big and hairy just like the real thing. Megatherium was known to be herbivorous, but there is a bit of a debate as to whether or not it included meat into its diet. I guess the species on Ark has evolved for the taste of insects. Overall, I'm very impressed with how it turned out. Ark truly has surprised me with the huge variety of prehistoric mammals it has. Remember, prehistoric animals didn't stop being cool when the dinosaurs died out. Mammals became just as weird, if not weirder in some regards. The Megatherium is a straightforward trank and feed tame, so grab a crossbow with some trank arrows or a long neck with some darts and a stack of narcos as their torpor drops a little fast. Head to the snow biome where you'll find them wandering around and knock them out. Megatherium is omnivorous and will eat berries or meat or its favorite kibble which can be made out of megalania eggs chitin, and honey. The saddle for this silly sloth unlocks at level 52 and can be crafted at a smithy for some hide, metal ingots, fiber, and cementing paste. The Megatherium is basically every ARC player ever, and no, I don't mean that because it's a fat, hairy-looking beast. Or do I? <laughs> I mean, this thing hates bugs! Absolutely hates them! Hates them enough, it'll go full-on Super Saiyan on any bug it comes across. The Megatherium will full-on Roid Rage when killing bugs gaining a buff, that increases movement speed and damage. Killing bugs is like steroids to this thing. Remember when the saber tooth was the best thing for collecting chitin? Well, those days are long gone. See ya, they've been gone for a year now. Uh, the Megatherium is amazing at gathering chitin. You will easily get 10 times the amount of chitin from farming with the Megatherium than any other animal in the game. This will come in handy for tribes who need a crazy amount of cementing pace and don't have access to a snail or a frog. And that's not even all, dude. The Megatherium also has a sitting down animation. Just like the Calico, it doesn't really do anything in particular, but it, I mean, it adds a little more life to it, which is nice. Overall, as a mount, the Megatherium is pretty good. It's got a good amount of HP and melee damage, but it is a bit slow. I mean, it's a sloth after all. That's all I have for you guys in this video. Tell us what you think about the Megatherium in the comments below. Don't forget to pound that frickin' like button. Like and subscribe. <laughs> also join our RP Light server. Some nasty stuff goes on in there. I am Naked Zombo, and I will see you in the next video.